Hi class, so what I want to do in this video here is walk you through your challenge exercises in um, section 4.2 of Zybook. So uh, talking about the normal distribution. So these um, problems really kind of focus on this first one here, focus on the empirical rule and probability. So it goes like this. Uh, housing prices in a small town are normally distributed. That's really important to know. So what that means is that housing prices follow the bell curve, okay, shape with a mean of 132,000 and a standard deviation of 9,000. So use the empirical rule to complete the following statement. Approximately 95% of housing prices are between a low price of something and a high price of something. So you have to look back in the empirical rule. And what the empirical rule says is that 95% of observations all right, should fall within two standard deviations on either side of the mean. So two standard deviations. You're going to take two. Let me and multiply it by your standard deviation. Okay, so that would be two times, and our standard deviation is 9,000, which is 18,000. So you're gonna take, for the low value, you're gonna take your mean of 132,000, and you're gonna subtract away 18,000. And you're gonna get 114,000. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, except you're gonna add. So you're gonna take, you're gonna take your uh, 132,000, and you're gonna add that 18,000, the two times the standard deviation, to get 150,000. So let's check. Yes, we got it right. Okay. So there's other rules you'll see above. Uh, 60, 67% um, of data. I should fall within one standard deviation on each side. This is covered in your text as I scroll up here to find it. Or 68%, excuse me, and not 67, 68%. Uh, and then when you get to three standard deviations, it's, it's roughly 99.7. Sorry for misspeaking there. Uh, let's go to um, the second one now. So which of the following graphs correspond to the probability that a z-score is between negative two and zero? So you'll notice you'll see these Greek letters here, right? This is mu, this stands for the mean, and sigma stands for the standard deviation. Well, z-scores are centered at zero, so that's the mean, zero, right here. And negative two would be two standard deviations away, okay? Because the z-scores have a standard deviation of one. So I'm going to click this. We got it. Great. And let's find this next one. So use the empirical rule to find the probability corresponding to the shaded region. So here you'll notice it's between negative two sigmas and two sigmas here. So this is between two standard deviations below the mean and two standard deviations above the mean. Well, that's the same thing as the first problem we did. It should be 95%, which is what we got. Uh, so I hope this helps seeing these. Uh, for, this, for these problems here, remember your empirical rule, okay? Uh, it won't always be two standard deviations like I have here. And then also remember for z-scores, z-scores have a mean of zero, okay? The z-variable have a mean of zero and standard deviation of one.